Hey everyone, it is day 19 of my Dating Myself Challenge. Um, I am the Urge Warrioress embarking 90 days of dating myself following uh, 90 days of recovery from a binge eating problem. Um, so this is day 19 of my new journey and today's Dating Myself activity is allowing myself to receive all of the good in my internal and external world. Um, so I know that seems a little bit vague and what that is actually looking like in practice is being still observant and grateful, basically. Um, and the reason why all of those components um, are essential in dating myself um, is because a lot of what I value, you know, when I'm in relationships is just appreciating the small things about somebody else, you know, and about day to day life with somebody else. And I've never really consciously done that with myself. So, so that's why that was on the list. And I have to be honest that um, doing that has been tricky so far for me today. I think it's tricky to do it, you know, particularly when we are working because we're so focused on like the external to-do list that it does, I think, become hard, you know, to be present and kind of check in with ourselves you know, and really kind of stop and think to focus, wow, I'm really grateful for this job. I'm really grateful um, for this task, to be engaging in a task that even though it seems mundane because I do it all the time, you know, to be engaging in a task, you know, that I am able to do, that I am competent to do, you know, and to be, you know, working for um, an organization that really, um, it's just purely for the good of people who who need help, right? Like I, it, it's it's I don't go back and do that, and I didn't go back and do that today, and I kind of like wish I did. You know, sometimes I wish I had like more time to reflect in the morning before starting the day. Um, you know, so I can go in with that mindset. But um, that's what it would have looked like if I practiced it better. But I'm catching it now. You know, um, right now my work day is over. Um, you know, I am doing um, a class tonight. But other than that, you know, I'll really get to um, really prioritize and get in, in, in the mind frame of being here now right and really taking in um really taking in the beauty around me taking in the aesthetic the aesthetic view, beauty of the harbor view i have and really appreciating myself you know appreciating you are you are embodying a body and a soul who is really prioritizing self-nourishment right now and the end goal of this you know, is not to date myself forever. Although if that ends up happening, I am building up a situation where it won't be that bad because I am, you know, learning to love myself, you know, and, and give myself those needs of, you know, like today appreciating uh, the small things, you know, and gratitude and mindfulness are, are kind of so um, important in that. Uh, but it will, you know what? This was bound to happen to me sometime. I don't like do like speeches for these, right? This is all, this is all off the cuff. And uh, eventually I would get on such a tangent that I forget what the original point was that I was going to. And uh, that's what happened now. I'm imperfect, as I said a couple of days ago. This is a human moment. This is as genuine as it gets, forgetting what I was gonna say. Um, but you know, I think, I think the bottom line is that um, oh, yes. Now, now I remember where I was going with this. Um, sometimes the judge in my brain, right? We all have like the, the judge and the victim that are in that, that parasitic part of our brain that wants to uh, basically like defeat our warrior. So sometimes that parasitic part of my brain does go, isn't this a little selfish? Isn't this a little like self-absorbed and self-indulgent? Well, you know what? Maybe it is a little bit self-indulgent right now, 
but it's for a reason. It's because I've never done this before. And um, the healthier I get with giving myself these needs, the less likely I will be to make unhealthy decisions in relationships, you know, and show up um, show up to a partner or even to friends and family as well, you know, show up as a whole person who's not, um, being a parasite to other people to try to just like get my needs met from them. You know, I can show up to family, friends, community, um, lovers, like in a way where, I'm not projecting any leftover stuff um, on them, any leftover needs on them. You know, like, like I've got it. I can take care of myself. And if I'm engaging, um, it's to be fully present in doing just that. Um, I'm basically talking about like the whole book, The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz here. <laughs> um, and for those of you who are not familiar with my previous videos, the Parasite Warrior reference was from The Four Agreements, also by Don Miguel Ruiz, which I highly recommend. Um, and that's really like the essence of it. That's what it comes down to today. So thanks for listening with me. Um, I think I got my main points out for today um, and I look forward to catching you all tomorrow for day 20. Thanks.